good afternoon everyone um, I would like to say thank you to everybody and anybody who has stayed with me after yesterday's reading which I still posted on myths and legends and I've just been laughing with my sister how I was talking about Otto Zeus who met somebody or other and then went somewhere like Troy and did this and it was absolutely awful not so much the whole reading I'm sure it wasn't that bad but my knowledge of myths was abysmal and I can I can only apologize I am so sorry if I ruined every myth or legend book you've ever read uh, and every pronunciation you've ever heard and every film you're ever going to watch may just be totally ruined for the next I don't know 10-15 years I'm really really sorry and today I'm going to give you a free reading to say sorry so today's reading is going to be how do my friends see me you've got three piles as usual Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So if you want to take your choice and hopefully be a little bit more knowledgeable than yesterday's reading. your friend is probably a little bit more introverted than you this is what I'm getting from the four of swords here perhaps your friend is a little bit a little bit more shy than you a little bit quieter than you or maybe possibly less um physical than you doesn't get up it hasn't got that same get up and go that you have because you've got Jupiter over here and you've got the oh I don't want to go down the mispronunciation route Ross Cash test here. So I'm picking this up as somebody that has a large energy that's very flexible, very mutable, very adaptable. Somebody with regard to this test is a test where people, it makes a shape and you have to guess what it is. So I think that you are seen by them or a group of people who are your friends, if you've got more than one, um, as being very able to slip into situations and adapt to anything that comes up that life throws you to be very adaptable to whatever life is throwing at you I think that they can I think you can associate with their timidity at times possibly because you've got the eight of swords here for you as well so there's something about the pair of you that's quite mutual there's something you recognize in each other which may be occasionally getting stuck with thoughts or feelings and then almost being a little bit stilted with how to move forward but I think once you once you do decide to go then you really go I think your friend or the friend that you're thinking of possibly can get a little bit stuck in their own head <clears throat> with the four of swords here and the eight of swords here for you so you do share some qualities but I think that you bring your friend out of her or himself or your friends out of themselves there's something a bit of a party party feel about you you've got the queen of wands here so male or female you're somebody that picks up the picks up the mood makes the atmosphere just it raises a little bit makes just everything a little bit more exciting a little bit more fun you're probably very sort of very good at taking initiative and making life move you know booking holidays planning where to go out what to do in the good old times you know, just making things move, making life roll, making life fun, making life bigger. Well, I think your friends often give, leave you to take the initiative in so many things because if your friend group is coming out of the Four of Swords, it's somebody who's probably a lot less forward moving and forward thinking as you are. You're somebody who likes to get things moving. There's a stability about you. I wonder whether you're going through some sort of processes at the moment. I think your friends see you as somebody who likes to plan and is very flexible once you're in the middle of something. You're the type of person that takes you the initiative to have a good night out. And then when you're in the middle of the night out, you don't have to stipulate which pub to go to. You don't have to stipulate which island to go to. You don't have to say which 
you know, where you want to say exactly what you want to do. There's just a mutable, flowing feeling about you with these two cards here. And this three of wands is making me think of somebody that pushes ideas out. <coughs> Excuse me. The queen of wands has fun while you're there. And then that's what people get from you. That's what your friends get from you. It does make me think I'm picking up at the moment that you're going through some sort of process. My camera on, yes. In your life, that is almost pushing you away from them, which could very much be the situation in the world because you've got the Queen of Swords here and you've got the Eight of Cups, which makes me think of movement. So I don't know whether you're as close to your friends as you used to be. And I wonder if it's a man. If you're thinking of somebody, a particular friend, if it's male, then that's def you. I think you may have moved away from them a bit. You've almost slightly lost that over-exuberant, playful feel that you used to have. And I'm wondering whether that's got something to do with the situation in the world at the moment. Maybe you, you, people just can't get together, can they? But your friends are drawn to you because you're stable, because you're fun, because you take the initiative. But I think there's more distance there than used to be. With the Queen of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. You're the type of person, because of this flexibility feel I'm getting here, <clears throat> I keep referring to going abroad because that's how what makes me feel good. If I have friends, I like to travel with them. So I'm just, I keep referring back to it. I don't know if you can apply it to something that you have yourself that you just makes you feel good. Um, but you're the type of person who, if you do have a trip abroad, you would take somebody with you you don't really know that well and you would take a chance on whether you're going to get on. And then it's almost as if by being a little bit more free-flowing, a little bit more free-thinking, think that's where the adventures start. And I don't mean like, you know, a boy's own adventure, but as in life opens up for, I think, those a little bit more open to life. And that's what people see in you. To have real... A lovely feeling of not being too narrow-minded, of being very open, very creative in how you live your life. I haven't got my board game cards here. It makes me think of them. Could have put some of those out. But there's a stability behind you because I think sometimes you get people who are a bit too wild and a bit too free-flowing and there's that lack of stability that makes other people feel a little bit uneasy at times. And I get the feeling that your friends are quite stable too. They may be the friends that like to stay at home when you want to. I, I do think it's you that picks up the phone and says, let's do something. I wonder if your friends are quite cancerian in some ways, like to stay in, probably like the TV. You may have that part in you as well that you like to connect in that way to, you know, somebody you can just hang out with. Your friend, seems, your friend or your friends seem more of the people a little bit more laid back, like to hang out um, or hang in. And you're the type of person possibly who likes to get life moving and just exciting, just fun. You're the type of person who takes somebody else's children to the play, to the water park and ends up going down the slide, continue yourself that type of energy you're the person that, that initiates the that initiates the trip and then ends up doing more slide runs than any of the kids that type of fun feel about it but i do i am picking up there's a distance between you and your friends or friend i don't know a real feeling of being earthed but being aware, uh, you know, your earth is in, you're here and you're stable and you know that when life falls to pieces, that's fine, you can deal with it, you know, you're present, but there's a real feeling of, you know, like a bit of a wild cheeky feeling of being able to play with life still, of being able to have fun because you know it doesn't really matter and it just makes each day better, that type of, it's quite a really sweet but exciting feel about you. Right, let's go with, how are they on? <clears throat> Okay, your best points to me this re this reads of somebody who is very intellectual because you've got the queen of swords here and you've got the star card here somebody who's very intellectual also very 
a defensive towards, <laughs> say, we're being really chivalrous now, towards your friend's honour. It Because you've got the star card here and the queen of wands. It makes me think of somebody who has very good... Um, morals or a very good a very strong sense of justice and you're the type of person with nine of wands with the defensive feel I'm getting here and the ten of swords with like shutting it off if anybody insults your friend in any way or annoys your friends you've got that real I wonder there is cancer here as well with you I'm going to say defensive feel. I don't mean defensive you've got a real strong feel of waiting and then really letting it go and I can't and I'm thinking in a verbal way it's almost if somebody insults your friend group or so you've got a real growl on you but I think that you actually come to their help or their assistance in such a intellectual way in the way that you formulate your words or the way that you come across that it's actually quite amusing you've just got a very quick feeling about you with the star card here and the queen of swords there's a real sort of and this defensive thing makes me think that you could cut somebody down like that but i also think as well you're more likely to do it for your friends than you are for yourself so a real sense of justice here and ending things or, or cutting a situation off dead if you very sort of protective that's the word i'm looking for a real a real protective air about you that cuts people to the quick if they, if you think that your friend's honor is somehow tried something like that that's why i'm picking up the star card here is somebody i think has got a very good sense of justice and very good with their words and the words they choose and then you've got the ten of swords here that i think cuts people to the quick the nine of wands is very defensive and your friends coming out as being a little bit more vulnerable than you you're larger than life very adaptable very sort of feisty fun loving somebody who likes to push life out and pull back you just wait to see what comes back to you of there's not there's a very flexible feel about you if I just said that word I think you think a lot though because you've got the eight of swords the queen of swords and the star here so I think you think a lot it makes me it gives me the feel of somebody who's quite intellectual in many ways I don't know whether you are studying in college or whether you just read a lot or it's you're just that type of person that likes words likes to play with words likes to play with thoughts likes to play with life You make, you make your friends feel loved. You make their life feel bigger because of the, what you give out and what you put out and emotionally what you put out. You, they know that you're there. Your friends are, I do get the general feeling that you are the kickstarter in this group. Your friends have got the two of ones, you've got the three of ones. So it's almost as if... They may have the ideas, but they look at you to get things started. They look at you for the excitement. And it's almost as if you've got a real nurturing feel about you, but not so much in a soft way, not so much in, I know there's a cancer feel here, but it's, it's not over motherly. It's, it's more like a brotherhood, sisterhood feel about it. But I think that you actually put the zest into life because you have a different way of doing things as well. There's something about you that just, you're the type of person in school who everybody wanted to sit next to because you were just easygoing. Um, I think people were probably quite envious of you when you were younger because you there's the mutable bit about you that just takes life as it comes towards you. But then you've still got the exuberance of the Queen of Wands here, the intellectual ability of the Queen of <coughs> Swords with a star, and then as your friends see you, which is this part down here, Ace of Cups, giving out and making them feel emotionally comforted in many ways. And then the Two of Wands here, they're, they feel like they're looking out and you, you give them the feeling that they're, you're pulling things in towards them. So they always feel like they want to do something, but you initiate it for them. And then you make it better and bigger than they could have imagined it. So you're, you're definitely the type of person who people want to take away or take on holiday or just spend a night in or out. I'm thinking more out, to be honest. It doesn't really matter because you just have a 
Star, Aquarius, Seven of Swords, a different take on things, an original flair about you that makes life fun. And Jupiter as well makes me think with the Queen of Swords and the bit we talked about your um, the way that you can talk probably very you're probably very good with your mental processes and very good at putting with Jupiter here it has a real comedic feel about it somebody who's very quick but very funny it makes people laugh not a dry sense of humor but a Jupiter is I think Jupiter are very good at seeing the life a, a larger picture of life and then just pulling the bits out that make people laugh rather than perhaps like a Capricorn sense of humor or um you know that drier sense of humor which is quite droll is that the word so right to summarize you pile number one how do your friends see you they see you as being the initiator of fun they see you as being flexible they see you as being very quick but very protective very quick with your words very protective of them you're the type of person that gets things started um, and they look at you to take a different tack on what to do in their life i think you are a bit of a ringleader in this sense you make them feel loved and you make them feel like the envious in some ways because I think that you actually get things moving. Jupiter there, they don't think too much. People with Sagittarius and Jupiter, they don't think of what other people would think of them. Life is there and they're just going to do it. There's not too much thinking. So they, I don't know if your friends have got a lot of water or a lot of air in their charts, but you may have fire and you just get things moving. And there's that feeling of being nurtured and being loved as well. So you basically cover all bases, I would say. The only thing I would say that's negative um, is that the closeness may not be there as it has been as if you know if you if this rings true then i'm gonna say zoom or skype <laughs> that's not good is it it's not quite the same is it but i'm just saying just make contact because i think if this rings true your friends hold in very high esteem but there's not the closeness there that used to be all right pound number one i'm going to finish that there i hope that rings true for you because i think you know what a great friend. Right, I'm going to finish there, pile number one. Um, thank you very much for staying with me and I hope to see you again. Bye. Right then, pile number two, there's a softer feel about you than pile number one. There's a um, a feeling of knowing and there's a feeling of knowing how things work, but there's still a feeling of passion there. It's not a case if you get lost in your thoughts and lost in your understandings of the world, you still have that passion. So that's a real quality that needs to be nurtured because so often you get people who understand um, how, th how the world ticks, possibly how they, we all, you know, have our ideas on what we think makes us tick um, and other people. But what I'm trying to say is you can get lost in overthinking, but you still have the passion there, the eros there with the star seed. And your friends are coming across the temperance here as well. So there's a real, I would say, spiritual link between you and your friends. There's a real sense of ease in contact here. There's a real sense of being able to relax with each other, but there's a real sense in you of being aware a deep awareness there, but still a passion. You're coming across as being very inwardly stable. You've got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This is how they see you. So they see you as being quite mature, being very stable internally and probably externally. Your life might seem stable on the outside from people looking in at you. And then from the inside too, the way that you put yourself across. There's a sense of fairness about you. There's a sense of being able to communicate. So there's a, this fair, this justice notes, the Ace of Swords, makes me think that you are very diplomatic. If, there's, if somebody needs to come towards you for advice, you give the best advice you possibly can, even if it's not the best for you in some situations. If somebody, can, you know, if you argued with somebody, they could ask you what you thought um, and you'd be very fair. You wouldn't actually put yourself... You know, sometimes when you <laughs> argue with it argue with an Aries because they're enjoying the fight so much they will actually buff themselves up a bit and you think well hold on you didn't actually that's not true this doesn't have that feel about it 
the justice and the ace of swords makes me think that you actually use your intellect and you're actually very fair with regards to the way that you deal with everything the six of swords and the eight of cups together how they see you makes me think there's distance you're not with them there's there's traveling there's journey there's distance i don't know if that's distance by um just mental distance or physical distance but there's a de definite feeling of a good relationship where you've all, both, both of you or you and another group have dwelled <clears throat> really well together. Dwelled? No, it's not. It's gelled. Excuse me. You've, excuse me. You've gelled really well together and there's that sense of ease. You know, the type of person you go around to you just hang out with. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. But you've got a real source of... This starseed card makes me th wonder whether... And this justice and this ace of swords, whether people do actually come to you for advice a lot. Because there's a maturity with the two kings here. And those cards we've just looked at, you're the type of person that people come to for advice. So I think you'll... Quite a profound feeling about you. I was going to say quite a feeling of profanity, but I know that goes in a totally different direction. I did actually mean profound. There's a prof I'm trying to think of words here. There's a reciprocated smoothness between you and your friends, but it's almost as if your friends are like a group here swimming and it feels balanced and you're balanced, but you're mature. And then the star seed here makes me think of awareness. And there's awareness in you, but with Eros here, there's still a passion. And as I was trying to say at the beginning, sometimes people who, who are very good at looking at life and looking into everybody's nuances, including their own and how life ticks, you can actually, I'm, I'm sure, become a little bit jaded at times. But you don't have that. You have the passion still there. But there's definitely, I do think there's distance between. If you're thinking of a particular friend, I do think there's distance between you and that friend at the moment, <clears throat> or that group of friends. Right, let's go a little bit further. Where are the cards here? Okay. I'm getting a real, I know you've got the King of Pentacles here, but I'm getting a real Virgo feel. It's like a, uh, I'm getting an earthy feel. I don't know whether it is earth here because the only card I can see here that's making me think that, and because the rest like water, air, but it's making me feel really virgo -y. Just that somebody who's grounded and very sweet natured. Somebody who's very kind and still. You know when you go to a Virgo's house or a Virgo wraps up your Christmas presents, that type of person, everything's so beautiful. They make life feel beautiful. When a Virgo mum reads you a book, it's the best book ever. It's just the way, you know, you see a Virgo handwriting and they're just going over it. It's so beautiful and smooth. I haven't got any Virgo in me. It's just beautiful. There's a real maturity and sweetness and balance about you, similar to your friends, but you seem to be more on point with it. I don't know why I'm thinking Virgo, because you've only got one Earth card there, the King of Pentacles. Oh my god okay right what the the best things about you according to your friends the magician card as we said here you've got the star seed card here which is a knowing and understanding knowing basically what you have inside yourself so your beautiful handwriting your beautiful storytelling your beautiful everything and then having the passion and the know-how how to make it work in life as i just said it's people just gravitate towards you it's like a magical quality. Just some people have it. It's just the way that they speak. It's the things that they do. And it's almost as if you um, mesmerise people. I can't even say it, but I can feel it. People that, people that I know that I've met. 
you sometimes you watch them the way they talk to people and everything they say is really interesting and they're saying the same as somebody else but the way they say it there's a real earthiness about them there's a real passion about them so i think what you're actually putting from yourself it's coming out of yourself is making people feel secure grounded and alive the magician the lovers and then the moon is that creativity there's something really magical about the way that i don't know i know what i'm feeling but i'm not putting it into words i know what i'm feeling like people that i've met that give me this feeling it's a smoothness it's a maturity, it's an ease of contact, but it's an ability to, in a very, not setback way, in a very understated way, to be really sexy. Sexy in, a, in, a, in themselves. You know, I can't, I can't put it into words. I've seen people teach like this. I've seen people who put shows on, put performances on, and they have a real breadth of vision and then a real ability to hone in the details. And then whatever they touch, magician, whatever they make is just beautiful. There's no Empress card here, which I'd expect to see, but there's that creativity here. There's that passion and there's ability to bring things out of themselves and lay them out and make life just beautiful. And the Temperance card here makes me think that your friends are very similar to you, but there's something very admirable about the way that you actually pull out your inner workings and make it and express it in the outer world. Oh, bless. You make people just feel good. Riding on their high horse, the six of wands, um, ten of cups, stability, emotional feeling of stability, of just feeling like you've, you've sussed it. You've sussed it with regards to emotions. You just make people feel, I'm going to say honoured was the first word that came to my mind then, and I do, probably do mean that, to be honest, even though it sounds a bit grandiose. The page of cups here is just... You make people give more of themselves because you give freely yourself. But there's a, a gentleness about this spread that I have. didn't get in the first spread. It's a gentleness and an ease of contact. There's just an awareness and a maturity and fairness. It makes me think of a ballerina. You know when you see somebody dancing and there's like the power and the intensity and then it's gracefully produced the the end product is just graceful that's how your friends see you there's there's a grace there's a a, a feeling of honor and you honor yourself and you honor others what is that well, a star seed here but there's still it's not dull it's not that feeling of smoothness that you always want to put a spark in it it's like you've got the spark there as well people don't see that spark it's not like aggression it's like a push it's it's like a wave a wave coming in to the shore that's got real force behind it and it's still moving but it's not aggressive it's not like a mars uranus right pile number two i'm going to finish there i hope that is you would you like to be my friend? <laughs> okay, thank you, bye number two. Hope to see you again. Bye. Right, this pile, pile, how your friends see you, pile number three. Your friends see you as somebody that they wouldn't mess with. You have, you both, you and your friends have this feeling of air, of being able to 
basically talk your way out of a backgammon of a bus. <laughs> they didn't fit together, did they? Talk your way out of any situation whatsoever because you have the intellect and you have the ability. You have the um, gift of the gab. I think you both do. You're probably the type of friends that would have they have talked each other's ears off but made sure that it was funny. There's something snappy about the pair of you. There's something like fiery air, I'm thinking. It's like air that quips. It's But there's a, there's a softness here. I wonder whether you met in college. I'm thinking, I wonder if there's some intellectual pursuit that ties you both together and you're the type of people that just laughed a lot. You're the type of people that try to make life exciting. You're the type of people that go skinny dipping um, on the spur of the moment um, or just set people up. There's a bit of a naughty, cheeky feel about you, but there's an, ability, there's an intellectual feel as well. You've got the Ace of Wands down here and the Chariot. So there's some movement going on here. I don't know whether you did a lot of sports together or whether you just enjoy big fun. I'm thinking sports here, the chariot and the ace of wands. A real feeling of trying to conquer life, moving forward, being quite forceful, forceful with where you want to go. There's also an intellectual, let me just run through these cards bit by bit and I'll put it all together. There's also an intellectual air with how they see you. There's high priestess and the ace of swords. It makes me think you possibly with a star here have a real depth of inner knowing that you may actually talk about quite a lot. And you've got the judgment card here as well. So there's a real sort of, I wonder if you have a view of life that's quite different to everybody else. An awareness possibly of... what's ticking underneath the surface with regards to life in general or just with regards to yourself with regards to life in general the staff here with the high priestess makes me wonder whether you know there's a real sort of fantastic conspiracy theorist going on here aquarius make a fantastic conspiracy theorist the high priestess is possibly a knowledge of hidden subjects in some way that were hidden the ace of swords and ability to talk about the judgment the judgment makes me think that you possibly use that with regards to how you live you how you live your life with a devil may care attitude and the reason i'm saying that is that you've got mars and uranus here which can be quite a electric and I think your friends may see you as quite electric there's no this to me the Mars the Mars with the star makes me think of somebody who's impatient it makes me th think of somebody who talks very fast could be quite cutting with their talk if they need be but there's an exciting quality of being very different you're the type of person your friends will see as the type of person that turns people's heads and that people remember you're not somebody that slips into a room or a job and then slips out and nobody remembers your name you're not the wallflower you're somebody who's got an electric quality about you and it wakes people up they may even be, you may be the type of person that can almost, you know, some of the friends that, oh, I've got friends that switch electrical equipment on by just being in the room, that type of feeling. And your friends have a similar feel, so I think you're all on the same page. There's a ability to connect, there's an ability to um, intellectualise probably with these cards here, but there's also a passionate feel of, I'm thinking immediately, all I can think, the Ace of Wands and Just Do It is making me think, obviously, of sports with Nike. Nike. And the chariot here is making me think of sports. I don't know whether you share a lot of sports activities together. Intellectual, fast-moving, feisty, knowledgeable, know how to put your... Your fancy or somebody who knows how to put everything that you've learned into practice. There's a real sporty feel about, I don't know whether you share sporting interests or hobbies, but then there's also some intellectual feel. So they see you as a very varied person. 
then he puts them on. This one's a bit harder. Which cards we're using? These ones. Bear with me. Okay, what I'm getting from this is not a sense of warmth from this bit here. There's not a sense of warmth, there's a sense of excitement, there's a sense of um, knowing how to make life move and then your, your friends, it's not as if you direct your friends in any way, it's as if your friends just join you. There's a sense of ease and you both being the same. If we come over here, which is your best points with regards to them, it's as if people do actually come to you for comfort. There's, you're somebody who they feel they can lean on. The Prince of Wands here makes me think of action again. So I wonder whether the way that you nurture people is quite action orientated. The type of person that would take people out for the day if you think that they're down. And you've got a creative approach to the way that you look after your friends. So it's going from a quite an intellectual pile, quite, a, you know, somebody, to, to me, you're somebody who's interested in the occult here. Somebody who's interested, and I don't know what I mean by the occult, but on how things work that possibly hasn't been easy to get hold of in the past. And I wonder whether at times you can get engrossed in that, but your friends are very similar. I wonder whether that's where the bond is. And the, the nine of swans here, you almost, to me, get the feeling of a softer side where you use your knowledge and you use everything that you've learned to actually nurture your friends in that way. Still an intellectual feel because you've got the Prince of Swords, you've got the Ace of Swords, you've got the High Priestess here, and then you've got the Star here, and then you've got Mars here. So these, to me, are cool cards. Cool approach to friendship, an intellectual approach to friendship, a knowledgeable approach to friendship, um, and a, a Mars and Uranus isn't soft. Mars and Uranus is hard, hard to live with. <laughs> I'm going to use the word spiky. There, there's a spiky feel to you, but there's a real. understanding within you and then understanding with your friends that I think they're very similar to you. I, you would probably make somebody very watery cry, but you were probably, and you probably did when you were young, won the go-kart competition. You're probably the type of person or you possibly could be attracted to people who are interested in speed. You know, people like um, Formula One drivers. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen the films? Is it said not films? A documentary. Uh, I forgot his first name. Senna. Um, it's so interesting. And the end scene. He, this is what's made this. This is you. What's his name? Somebody put it in the comment section. Senna. Documentary. Really good documentary on. Um, for, I don't know, Formula One drive. I don't know much about it. But there was something about his personality and his his intellectual. This is you. An intellectual approach to life and a very proud and aware man and the ending made me cry that's the feeling i'm getting from you Martin, i don't know there's just something very very aware very dignified that you uh, qualities that you share with your friends sorry it's taken me a long time to get here i'm actually beginning to picture it a bit now there's a, yeah, there's a, Mar, your Mars Uranus, whether you've got it in your chart or not, there's that feeling of having to move and move with passion and to move in life as well. I don't know whether you do those type of sports, but there's that need to keep moving. There's that need for excitement. There's that need to have a intellectual approach to life that has, I would say, a religious bend to it and religious in any way, shape or form that suits your personality. Yeah, okay. I can, now I can, I can see it. It makes me feel excited. I can almost say, what is his name? Really attractive man. His personality is really attractive. 
very dignified. That's who you are. That's who you make me feel of. This power makes me feel of that. There's the movement and there's the ability to stick by your friends in a very dignified way. But there's a, it's not, it's not, it's not a feeling of wetness with this. It's a feeling of passion, but it's controlled in an intellectual way because you have principles that you live by. And I don't know whether they come from religion or something else, but there's a real creative way that you live your life and your friends love you for that. Oh my Lord, it's taking me hours to get there. It's coming, it's feeling right. But it's like a long layered built on principles that you live your life on and then you live it in quite an electric way there's something very sort of exciting about you and I wonder whether you are interested in sports or movement or something that's quite feisty and your friends are very similar to you you gel very well together but there's something about you that's different from your friends that's quite intellectual and the way that you have your principles and you have your you've used your dogma I don't know if it is that's the right word to the best the best way possible and that actually helps people because you've got a creative twist on it okay 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 what's his name i'm bugging me now senna arton arton sen arton sen arton senna oh yeah that's it arton. a r y t o n arton. i'm not gonna say it Art and Senna. Art and Senna. Art and Senna. There's just something about that man that made me, and I'm not interested in Formula One, made me watch the film three times. And it was the way that he seemed to have organised who he was and he lived it, even though he was obviously a very feisty Aries moon, um, I think. I haven't watched it for years, but there was something mesmerising about him. And this pile feels the same. There's something quite mesmerising about your energy because it's principled, but wild. That's it. Yeah, you make your friends. There's obviously that gel there of being this very similar but that you make your friends feel that anything is possible you make your friends feel that you you can make life happen and they can move with you there's a feeling of movement which i think would be very important to both of you but there's a feeling that you are the instigator in making life happen and that's why they're drawn to you very a similar nature but there's movement there and there's excitement there and it's almost as if by B, it's almost like, you know, like you're next to somebody and it rubs off. The excitement rubs off and then that makes life more livable, more exciting. Okay, right. This is a really nice pile that took me a long time to get to because there's a real feeling at the beginning of coolness. And when I get Mars and Uranus together, I feel cool coolness, which can be quite spiky. But your friends are coming out of the King of Swords as well. So there's that air quality of being intellectually compatible and then the chariot card and the ace of wands here make me think of feisty feisty so there's movement there but with the high priestess and the judgment makes me think of being principled in some way that you have organized either your religion or your outlook on life or some sort of principles that you live your i can't think of a different word live your life that works for you in a really good manner and it's quite still intellectual here still quite cool and then it starts getting softer because you've got the moon and then you've got this feeling this woman crying the nine of wands but there's still that movement so what your friends get from you and how they see you is somebody that is very similar to them very feisty but very grounded with regards to your morals and that's important to you and them. Oh, I love that, that document. I'm going to watch it again. There's something really proud, 
something oh, this is this is one thinking I'm thinking of you and I'm thinking back to this because I've, it's a really strong feeling from that documentary which it makes me sound mad I know but there's a sense of pride and there's a sense of how he finds his strength in religion but he lives it in such a humanitarian way the money that he left to charity, you know, he's just beautiful, really beautiful man. That is how your friends see you, male or female. There's a beauty about you that is not swallowed by emotions. There's a beauty about you that makes life move forward. There's a passion about you and there's an awareness about you. And your friends are very similar to you, but they know that you have their back. You've got a real creative approach to life. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Right then, I'm going to finish there because I don't know what else to say. I'll be repeating myself, but you make life move. You make life move and you make it feel concrete when you're doing it because you have that sense of stability in yourself from, I think, from your inner principles. Right then, part number three, I'm going to finish there. Well, that's made me feel quite funny. I don't even know why. I'm just getting old. Right, panel number three, I'm going to go and I'm going to leave you leave you with that. Please leave any comments to see if that does actually um, ring true in any way. My battery is just about to go. So I'm going to say goodnight to you all and um, hope I see you again. Bye. Mm -hmm.